let's start with the first poem and the name of the poem is the squirrel and it's been written by Mildred Bowes Armstrong now how many of you are fond of watching squirrels I know you must have seen squirrels and what do they actually do they're just running around always you know indulging in some sort of play now this poem also the poet had seen the activity of the squirrel and he is you know explaining how it looks like so let's read the poem for he wore a question mark for tail an overcoat of gray he sat up straight to eat a nut he liked to tease and play and if we ran around his tree he went the other way now students if you've seen a squirrel sitting have you ever seen you can see it in this picture also you see what sort of uh, figure it's giving it seems as if it's a question mark the formation of the squirrel's tail that is raised upwards with its tip pointing downwards it's identical to a question mark the tip pointing downwards tail of the tip and the poet says an overcoat of gray have you ever seen uh, a squirrel wearing a coat no then what the poet is talking about the poet is talking about the fur or the skin of the squirrel now if you have happened to see the squirrels you must have observed that it seemed to be of a gray color so what the poet says that the it is blessed with a gray coat it seems as if it is wearing a gray overcoat he sat up straight to eat a nut now have you ever seen squirrel sitting it sits on its two legs and the other two legs are they take the position of hands and with those hands it tries to eat the nut so it positions itself straight sitting on those two legs it positions itself straight to eat a nut he liked to tease and play now what is the basic characteristic of this uh, this squirrel squirrel is actually very playful by nature all the time running as if it is chasing or playing with something so what does it actually have you ever seen two squirrels playing with each other they seem to be running this side running that side so they like to tease each other and they like to play with each other so the squirrel is quite playful as it loves to run the opposite direction and if we ran around his tree children are very naughty by nature when they see a squirrel they just want to run and catch the squirrel so if you have ever, ever tried this like if you have ever tried to catch a squirrel if you try to go towards it it just vanishes it simply quickly moves away from that place and if we ran around his tree where the squirrel has made its hut he see the if you try to go towards it it just vanishes it simply quickly moves away from that place and if we ran around his tree where the squirrel has made its hut he the poet says if you try to run around what does the squirrel do he went the other way the squirrel changes its direction and moves towards the opposite direction and the poet says that it loves to run around it loves to run in the opposite direction that the prank loving human beings take when they run around its tree thank you